Today I'm going to teach you how to make carne guisada. It's the way that I make it. So if you have some special recipes from your grandmother, your parents that have been passed down for generations, or you found an awesome one on Google, <laughs> keep that one. Feel free. I just wanted to show some people who are curious on how we make this, if they've never heard of it before, and I'm making it for dinner. So check it out. All right, so I have my six quart um, pan and I have my stew beef. So what I'm gonna do, this is just a little trick that I've learned. I'm gonna put some flour on my beef. That's gonna help it brown really well. So I'm gonna just go ahead and mix it, mix the flour in there. And it'll also act as a thickener when we start to make our stew. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my beef here and I'm gonna let it cook. I forgot I didn't have my heat on. <laughs> I turned it off. But there we go. I'm gonna use like a, probably a medium heat. Um, mine goes from low to high, so one to 10. So I'll put it on like a five. I'm just gonna add my meat to this. You'll start to hear it sizzling. I like to use olive oil. A lot of people use vegetable oil, but olive oil has worked so perfectly for me for the majority of our recipes. Um, it's as if we're just, it's an all purpose oil, so, and it's better for you. So this is not to cook the meat, it's just to brown each side. After it's, I'm done browning each side, I will add my sofrito, my tomato sauce, my adobo, oregano, and whatever other seasonings I'd like to use, like my sazon. Um, I'll have in the description box uh, the recipes for the sazon and the adobo, and I might just use the sofrito too, um, if you didn't see my last video. Um, you can buy these things at the market, but um, I've found out that when you make it fresh, just like anything, they always taste better. All right guys, so like I said, I actually bought two pounds of the stew meat, but because I took out a lot of the fat, I don't like to take it all out, but because I took a lot of it out, or some of it out, it kind of went down to like a pound and a half. So um, I'm kind of winging this, trying to get some um, measurements for you guys, but usually it's just a, kind of a simple mental thing to do when you cook. So I'm gonna take this sofrito that I made earlier, a nice big spoonful, and I'm gonna throw it in there. I am then going to add some tomato sauce. I didn't have an eight ounce on hand which is the normal can so but I did have some diced tomatoes so I went ahead and I just blended them up really good and this is what I'm gonna use um, I would usually use eight ounces so I'll probably use I don't know a little half of this because obviously it's not full actually I think that's pretty good I think that's good enough or probably just a little bit more Now I'm gonna add some of the Luisa Sasson I told you guys about. You can make this yourself. Um, I'll have the ingredients in the description box. Um, but this is a good alternative to the actual packets that they have at the store. This is better for you. But I've always used the packets for my entire life except recently. <laughs> so you make your decision. I made my own adobo. Um, this has, again, the ingredients will be in the description box. It's a lot of good stuff. Probably the majority you have on hand. So I'm going to mix this stuff with our stewed meat. Look at this. Smells so good already. Oh, yes, Lord. 
So now I'm gonna add some veggies. So even though I added my recaito, that's where the flavor is. I'm gonna cook that with that, that's where the flavor is. But I wanted bigger chunked vegetables like the green peppers, the cilantro and the onions, um, just to give it some bite. Um, I really like, like when I eat soups and things, I like it chunky. So that's why I'm adding a lot of this. There's flavor in there too, but it's mostly just for the thickness of my stew. This is, majority of this is from the garden. You remember when I vacuum sealed those carrots? That's where this came from, the freezer. <laughs> Definitely come in handy. Let's cook. Look at that, it's beautiful. Look at this, guys. I'm gonna add a bay leaf. I love the flavor of bay leaves. I'll go ahead, actually I'll just add maybe two. And then you can pick that out after. I'm gonna add some, about two cups of water. You can do a beef broth if you have some on hand. I actually don't have any, I have to make some very soon. I usually have a lot of broth on hand but I don't have any at the moment. I used the wrong jars to freeze like a ton of broth and they popped in my freezer. I was so sad. And usually you would use some green olives. I, my family does not like green olives, so I don't use them. So an alternative, you guys are gonna lose your minds, but an alternative to green olives is a little bit of pickle juice. It sounds weird, but it works just the same. I'm gonna get some of this delicious pickle juice and do two just regular actual tablespoons. <laughs> and I'm gonna put this on a higher heat, let that boil. And I'm gonna add my the rest of my veggies. some white wine vinegar or some red wine vinegar. Um, I'm not gonna add that, but I know a lot of people who do. Um, because I need a little bit more juice in here, I'm gonna probably add a little bit more seasonings and I'll add some more um, tomato juice and a little bit more water. I like a lot of soup because my family loves it. So stews are the, just the same. And like I said, I'm winging it, but I have the recipe in the description box. No worries. Mm. All right, guys. So now that I have everything in the pot, I am going to put this on high, let it boil. And once it boils, I am going to put the, the lid on and then I'm going to reduce it to simmer. And we're going to leave this for an hour. And after that, once we have what we want, you can add more seasonings if you'd like, and you can ha add more water or broth if necessary. But then it'll be pretty much ready after it's simmered down for on top of your rice. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna make some rice. Um, nothing special, just some rice for our food. I'm gonna put it on like a high heat, probably like an eight. Add a little bit of sofrito. Sazon. Adobo. Tomato sauce. And if you're not familiar with making rice, I do, um, for us, since it's only four of us right now, I do two cups of rice and then I'll do four cups of water. But first I'm gonna wait till this cooks a little bit. Sorry, Usually I would add some ham in here, 
for some flavor. But um, I bought a whole ham because I ran out of the some in the freezer. I just haven't cut it yet. So it'll be all right. So I'm gonna add my two cups of rice. And I'm gonna mix it in here a little bit. So it's well combined with the seasonings that I put in here. Get that beautiful. Now I'm gonna add the four cups of water. And again, anything you have the water with um, you could actually use a beef broth or a chicken broth um, completely depends on you i just don't have my chicken and beef broth um, if you want to add a little bit um, a flavor without the fresh um, chicken and beef broth you can use a boulon cube and mix it with your water work just as well so i'm going to wait till this boils and once this boils i'll add my lid and I will have this cooking for about 15 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna let it sit on probably in between two and three, uh, probably more three. I don't wanna be on low. I want it to simmer, but I want it to cook enough so the rice absorbs all the water. So over here, we are back at our Gane um, Gisau. So it is, we're at 17 minutes. I'm gonna take the lid off. I'm gonna mix it just a little bit. Look at that. And I'm gonna let it sit here and cook without the lid for a while. So all that steam can come out and it can start to reduce. So we're still not doing anything with this. We're just gonna let it sit for the rest of the 17 minutes. All right, guys, here's my take on the garne guisado with the avocado, some rice, and if you were wondering why I didn't peel my potatoes, these are fresh potatoes from the garden. I cleaned them well, and there is a lot of nutrients in the peel of the potatoes, and I do not want to get rid of that. I hope I helped you make something new today. Um, we're going to eat, and we're going to head to the church. God bless you. Make sure to hit the bell, subscribe, and like if you like more content. I'm thinking about cooking a little bit more, so we'll see. I have to get my... Hey, well, I guess I got to get my hands and feet wet on this a little bit, so we'll see. Bye, guys.